Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning into the episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic Can Bateman actually do it? Look, I want to make my position very clear because y'all know, without a shadow of a doubt, I've been on the Bateman train, right, for a while. My belief in him. My thought process of saying he has everything that's needed to be great. The Ravens need to get him more involved. I've been on all of that. All of it. And I've also uh, 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 believed big time in Zay Flowers. So that's unquestioned, okay? But I'm going to make a point. So, so I'm going to drive my point home on a lot of things today. <clears throat> After Harbaugh admitted that they're now just starting to build around Lamar. I want to honestly ask you fans, because fans, we're all fans, right? I'm a fan, you a fan, we're all type of fans. Are you really okay with the Ravens putting all their eggs in the Rashad Bateman basket again? Are you okay with it? Mind you, the caveat, you know how I feel about Bateman. I told you I think Bateman's comp is a faster Stephon Diggs. That's a pretty darn good comp. But do you actually trust to put all the eggs in his basket that he's going to remain healthy, he's not going to quit on routes, and the offense is going to get him to Totally, undeniably involved. Are you guys totally sold on that? Because let me tell y'all something right now. Why I'm saying what I'm saying. Because we've already heard what EDC has been kind of talking in his combine speak. Him saying that there's no real running back talent. The wide receiver class is uh, 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 deep and stuff like that. They haven't drafted wide receiver great. Why would I trust the Ravens to all of a sudden be able to switch that, 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 that thing to go? Like, like, look, Zay, very good pick, but so was Hollywood. Like, I want, I want to remind y'all, the best two receivers the, the Ravens have ever drafted is Torrey Smith and Hollywood Brown. That's not a condemnment to those. It's, it's not me condemning those two players because they were good players. They are still good players because Hollywood's still active. But when you're comparing to the, to like Lamar's and the offense's contemporaries. It's like, come on now, bro. This ain't, it's not even close. It's not close. Yeah. Like what? I'm going to tell you this right now, right? Somebody, I was doing, uh, I was doing the last show and somebody said that um, I made the, not me, but I covered the trade scenario of Kyle Hamilton with Justin Jefferson. All of this is tied up. Check this out. I got berated a lot in the comments. Like, oh, Nitro, you crazy for this one? I can't believe you'd be this stupid. I'm like, oh, why are you calling me stupid for all I'm doing is covering it? Like, my God, I, uh, y'all got this much contempt in your hearts, your souls for Nitro? All right, but whatever. I'll let that go. But they were like, we got Zay. I got faith in Zay. I got faith in Bait. And I'm sitting there reading some of these comments, and I'm dead serious. I'm in my chair going just like this. Oh. Bro, <laughs> let me read something off to you so you understand just how far down, regardless if you like Zay or not, or if you're a Bateman fan or not. Since I'm tripping, because I like to make a point and drive it home. Zay and Bait. Zay and Bait. Those were receivers, right? Because remember, we're asking, do you, because the Ravens right now are looking like they're going to put all their eggs in the Bateman basket again which I am totally not for, as much as I believe in him. I'm going to I'm gonna touch on every receiver. This is just some of the, it's not even all of them. This is some of the receivers that I would undoubtedly take before either of those guys. Check this out and tell me if I'm lying in, in the comment section. You're telling me you want to take C.D. Lamb over either one of those two? Okay. Stefan Diggs? Oh. A.J. Brown, uh, Justin Jefferson, uh, Tyreek Hill, uh, Devontae Smith, uh, 
Jalen Waddle, oh. Devontae Adams, oh. Chris Olave, oh. uh, Metcalf, oh. Garrett Wilson, oh. DJ Moore, oh. Keenan Allen, oh. Brandon Ayuk, oh. Debo Samuel, oh. T. Higgins, oh. Amari Cooper. Oh. And we didn't eat. Oh, 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 oh. Cooper Cup. Oh. <laughs> and you know what we didn't even put in there? DeAndre Hopkins oh. or Chase from the Bengals. Oh. Do you know how much guys I just named? Chase, DeAndre, Amari T, Debo, Brandon Ayuk, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Garrett Wilson, uh, Metcalf, Alave, Cooper Cup, Waddle, Devontae Allen, Devontae Smith, Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, AJ Brown, Stefan Diggs, CeeDee Lamb. That is 20 guys that I would take over those guys right now. And that's my problem with the Ravens. You understand where I'm coming from? I want to make sure you understand where I'm coming from when I say what I say when I mean what I say when I say when I'm saying it. <laughs> Yo. Oh! Ah, let me stop. <laughs> I made myself laugh. Ah. But no, for real. Like all, all laughing aside. And I could probably name more. Because let's be real. Travis Kelsey is, even though he's a tight end, He's the greatest tight end of all time. He receives the ball. He ain't the blocker. I would take all those guys over Mark Andrews also. This is like 22, 20, and Mike Evans wasn't even on that list. There is legit 25 weapons in this league that you would undoubtedly take over all any of Lamar Jackson's weapons. That is a problem. And y'all don't see it to be a problem? Every, oh. time, every single time it gets down to this time of the year, y'all like, oh, we have enough. We have everything we need. Like, 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 like what's it called? Like, what's that, what's that bowl of cereal that it said that has everything that a child needs and wants for a growing child? I forgot what cereal that is. Y'all can tell me in the comment section. But that's, that's what I'm talking about. All the nutrients that a growing child needs. A through E. A through Z. <laughs> Sounds like Centrum. <laughs> A through Zinc. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's putting it in perspective for some of you. Who, who, who don't see beyond their purple shaded glasses. Lamar doesn't even have a top 25 weapon on the team right now. I want you to understand that. Name right now. Everybody that I named. That you would take uh, 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 over. That, or anybody. You would take Mark Andrews over any of them. You would take Zay over any of them. And if you would. Delusion is at a high level. Because once again we're hoping. Zay. Becomes what he's supposed to do. And right now remember. They asked. About the Zay problem. Remember the. The alleged incident. And the Ravens are still watching because they said it's not over yet. You see what I'm trying to tell y'all? And we don't know if Bateman's going to be able to stay healthy this year. You see what I'm trying to tell y'all? Getting a number one should be crucial, should be integral, should be one of the most important things that the Ravens do for this off season. I'm tired of them always saying we'll go to the draft. I'm tired of them seeing that players might not be available and just rolling the dice. Why are you going to roll the dice around players that literally directly impact your quarterback? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Jesus God, it doesn't make sense. The Lord Jesus God himself knows I'm not lying. If it doesn't make sense to him, how does it make sense to y'all? Yo, bro, I can't do this sometimes, bro. Because y'all be believing I be tripping. Y'all be thinking I'm tripping. 25 guys easily. The tight end off the, um, off of the 49ers. You ain't going to tell me you ain't taking them over anybody we have on the team right now. Like, it's just so hard. <laughs> yeah. 
And there's some other guys that are like, oh, maybe. The maybe. We didn't even go into the maybe. We went to the definite. The definite people like, yo, we're taking any of those guys over the guys we have in Baltimore right now. See what I'm trying to say? So, and mind you, like I said, the, 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 the Burrow got three. Three. Remember, we they, they didn't even name Christian Kirk. They didn't name, uh, what's his name? Who was on the team with Christian Kirk? And um, oh my God, he's up. Calvin Ridley. That's all trying to tell you. It's a legit twenty-five guys. You gonna tell me Calvin Ridley? You wanna take Calvin Ridley over Bateman? Uh, 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 uh. Like, bro, come on now, bro. And I mind you, this is and I put everything into a contest to let you understand how I feel about Bateman. You know I love Bateman, but to put. To be able to risk another season after admittingly wasting five years of Lamar Jackson's uh, 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 NFL career. Bro, no, no. I don't want faith. I don't want hopes. I don't want dreams. I want definitive. It's the closest thing you can get to it being 100%. That's what I want. I want someone that's already proven it. Hence why I want Derrick Henry. That's why I don't want to go with Saquon. Saquon has been ex extremely injury prone since he's been in the league. Why would I want a guy that's injury prone coming to a team that's already injury prone? And y'all sitting at home like, oh, Nitro, but he's so fast. He looks so electric. Look at that highlight play. We need him in the playoffs. He can't be in the playoffs if he can't play. <laughs> Yo, my God. I can't believe we're having these conversations again. <laughs> But what do you guys think? Are you of the cloth saying, oh, I love bait man, give me bait man, give me Zay? Or are you of the cloth like me saying, do not put all your eggs in the basket again? Go get an alpha dog. DeAndre Hopkins is still available. Ooh, how would you like DeAndre Hopkins, Bateman, and Zay? Ooh, and that shouldn't cost your arm and a leg. Ooh, how would you like a Mike Evans, Zay, and a Bateman? Ooh, it sounds pretty good, right? Ooh, and it's probably uh, able to get done. If you agree with me, let me know in the comment section, because this this comment section, this time today, as soon as I get home from work, we going to be arguing. How you think it's a game? It's not a game. But as always, that's the episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, you know the comment. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonderkind Show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content, goodness, winning for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to help out we just had a do the first donation in a while. Help out with equipment and stuff like that because we do need a lot more and better equipment. Bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign. The Wonder Can Show. Super easy. And another thing I'm letting y'all know that we're trying to save up for that I did not let you guys know. I'm in Florida, as a lot of you know. We get hurricanes, and we get storms that knock out power, knock out internet. Even if it don't knock out power, it knocks out internet, sometimes for days. I'm trying to invest into the Starlink. Now, I know what you know what that is. That's another thing that we're trying to get, uh, and hopefully we'll have it in, I don't know, before August. Um, really, if, that, if that's where the money's going, <laughs> it's not going anywhere else. So if you want to help get those things... It'll be a big help because I can put the Starlink inside, start the generator up, and then once I put that Starlink out, we get internet, and I'll still be able to put out content. What's the best ability? Availability. And I would take that Starlink over a new camera. 100% with y'all. And y'all can look up the Starlink prices. You know what I mean? The ones that are for a business and stuff like that. So y'all can see the price ranges and understand where I'm coming from. But that's how you do it, all right? That's how you do it. But once again, this is the Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp. Yeah.